skeletons. They're gonna be like, I wish I didn't wake up today. Nah. Yes. I wish I'd stayed dead. I wish I wish I was really dead. Dead dead. Oh wait, wait. Picked up that wood and it floated into the sky. You just sounded like, oh, it came in. Okay, thank you. Run, 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 run. Oh. You just, you just killed the dragon. Okay, good. Glorious. Okay, let me get my sweet arrows. Yes. Be on fire. Jig did not turn on the Legion advert, so we are live. Oh, oh. surprise! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hello, 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 everyone. <laughs> and we welcome. were just discussing that I'm gonna sit here like this for the whole stream with, with a beautiful kitty cat. cat. <laughs> welcome back, everyone, Sorry to Legion. About that. I am your dungeon master, Xanaris, as some of you know me as Daniel, and as others may know me now on the Discord as Papa Bear. Ah, uh, we're back. And it's wonderful to be back. There were some yes. things that happened throughout the transcourse of the past few weeks. We had a player that wasn't feeling too well. And um, I actually wanted to go and reach out to everyone. My, my mother passed away last week and I had to leave the country to go and lay her to rest. Um, for everyone that sent me a message and for the people that don't know me and still took a moment to say something, I deeply appreciate it. Um, for my extended family here that were there with me all throughout consistently, I am very, very thankful. Um, I don't know if any of you have lost a parent. And if you have, my condolences go to you. But when you lose both, it's a little strange. And all of a sudden you realize that you are now the adult. And it has been a little bit of... Um, of a sombering experience but I want you all to know I am so thankful for so much kindness and for so much love and outpouring and just being there and you guys don't know me and a lot of you did that and I just want to say thank you it means a lot so we are back and your DM is back and he is here to be able to go and bring you on this wonderful adventure that we call Legion. And he's got his new actual glasses on. Because if you guys don't know this, I had 2020 vision for the majority of my life. And the majority of the time you see me with glasses, they're fake. These are actually real. Because I needed to go and get myself an actual pair. Because, you know, I'm getting old. But, that, but that's besides the point. So, um, but let's go and introduce our players. Players, everybody say hi. It's been a while. Hello. Hi, it's been a while. It's been a while. Wow, that was a so, good impression. Like, my, my, forgive me, my cat attacked the, attacked something over there. We're just paying attention. So, with uh, well, let's go ahead and introduce ourselves. Melanie, who who do you play? I play Lonnie. Ah, yes, the intrepid Lonnie. And Francisco, who are you playing? Um, I play Wilbur, the artificer. Ah, oh, wonderful. M, who are you playing? I play Rory for Bulk and his uh, sister. Ah, yes. Leo, darling, who are you playing? I play uh, Leo the Tabaxi Sorcerer. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm <laughs> not, not. What? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's good. Exceptional. Uh, <laughs> Leo has gone full Maha, Maha, Maha is Maha. And our guest star extraordinaire, Miguel, who are you playing tonight? I play the actual human child, Gus. The halfling! You will notice there, the Melanie, halfling. his name placard says human wizard. I don't know what you're talking about, the Melanie. Name you must be very confused. Is lying. <laughs> I don't think so. I believe the name placard. 
I ah. I trust it. It's on a placard. Oh, very I mean, the, the the name placard is also saying that Leo's name is Leo, and Leo's name is definitely Maha. So. Ah, <laughs> oh yes. oh yes it Look, is. Oh. Leo Leo <laughs> is Leo, and lies. Maha is Leo. Maha. They're two separate entities. Oh. We're gonna we're gonna rate it in. We're gonna rate it in because Daddy <laughs> wants to get some playing done. Come on. <laughs> so. so, so <laughs> uh, we don't that. get distracted on tangents. Oh, oh God! Oh. Never happens. No, absolutely. And, and also, uh, Grandma, I just saw your message. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And Grandma, one of our one of our people that have been with us from pretty much the beginning. It's always good to see you. Um, yes. And uh, we have some other elements of business that we need to go and take care of. M, my intrepid editor, help me. What business is it that we're missing? Absolutely. So welcome everyone. Uh, to frankly, I don't give a forks channel. This is our Thursday segment Legion that you know of, but we do have other segments on our channel. We have on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Sunday, Sundays. Sometimes we are graced by the mythical creature Leo, who does Maha Mondays on these days. Uh, Maha Mondays. Right now, they are setting up the server for Minecraft for to play with families and friends. Uh, Tuesdays we have map makings with myself uh, at three forty-five. Um, and then Wednesdays are free day off. Thursdays of Legion, of course. Fridays are sometimes watch us die, depending on our schedule. And we guest star oftentimes with Grimm and sometimes Teal Wall. Uh, and uh, Saturdays, we have been doing a lot of uh, movies in our Discord server. So if you are interested in watching a movie with us there, our, I believe our next movie that we are watching is Interview with the Vampire at 8 p.m. And then Sunday. Oh, Louis. <laughs> and then Sundays we have. Uh, is this Sunday when you're doing something wicked? This week comes up, correct? This Sunday, um, I'm hoping to actually go and get all my shit together because it, it's been it's been a pretty intense week. Um, it may not be um, the. It, it's not going to be the royal, the royal, the royal family because I, I, it was just that just didn't happen. So the topic is still kind of up in the air, but your boy's going to get it done. Um, That'll be Sunday you're, you're, at two p.m. So be sure to tune in. Your 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 DM had a hard week, guys. <laughs> so, but he's 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 starting to he's starting to get back into things. Coming soon, but, um, we'll have a sip of Zanaris, uh, yes. where he will be reading his abridged version of Moby Dick. And then we have, a couple, right. <laughs> we have a couple of floating segments that are going on. We have Matanzo Speaks, uh, where you can see Francisco practice his voice acting skills and some improv skills. And then we also have uh, the B-List that he participates in, where he plays B-rated games, so you don't have to buy the game to see if you like it. Uh, some other things, some housework to do. Uh, we have on our About Us page, we have a link for you to link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account. By doing so, that means you can subscribe and follow, subscribe to any creator on Twitch, including us, which if you are willing to do that, give us Bezos sweets money so you don't have to give us your money. Um, the fucker went to space. He can go and pay us. It's okay. <laughs> and then the best ways to help support us, we have a Kofi account. Uh, we have a Patreon account where you can get digital or physical merchandise, and we have a Discord for you to join. We do community night gaming, community night uh, movies. Uh, we've been watching a lot of wrestling, preparing for the vampire uh, <laughs> game that's coming up, which they are related. Um, those are the best ways to support us. Uh, we do have a couple of grand rules. This is a community that we're trying to build. Uh, that is tolerant to all walks, life, creed, religion. So any, we do have some wonderful mods in our group, so they will be making sure our chat is a safe place for everybody. And that is all I have. So. Our Discord's really we, cool, come join us. Actually, <laughs> you, you know what? I've, got, I've, I've had a moment to really go and see all the things that you guys do in the freaking mm -hmm. Discord. And I have realized I have been missing out, so I'm, I've been trying to get a little bit more active in it, seeing all the fun stuff. Um, but yeah, totally come and see us in our Discord because you get to interact with us directly. And we post some really stupid, silly things, and it's always fun to share. Yes. Take a moment 
And it's been a while, hasn't it? Since we've been able to speak to each other and have a moment to just sit and lose ourselves amongst it all. Take my hand as I put you into our adventure. To Legion. The last time that we were together with all of our little compatriots. Oh, you know what? For an inspiration point, who wants to go and say what happened last time? Emily does. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. For an inspiration point, absolutely. Um, I think Roma's going to be remembering what happened last time. <laughs> um, so we just woke up at Boehm's hideout that we were at, and we, the three of us, Lonnie... The uh, haystack? Yes, uh, Lonnie... Uh, myself and Maha had dreams that number one had stored away in memory balls, me memory balls, and memory. <laughs> and we woke up, and Maha and I talked, and we decided to go visit Gus to have him blink back to the ethereal plane because we were tasked with destroying the Lich's Emerald to release the souls. So we went to uh, Gustav's Emporium of Magical Items. And uh, of magical oddities, magical get it right. Sorry, and um, Gustav was not there, but uh, Fidget and Digit were there accompanying the minor Gus or Goose. Fidget, uh, Fidget. Minor. <laughs> and yes, minor in age, not not in mining or lesser in any way, and minor in age and stature. <laughs> yes. Lonnie did Fair. fill in the group that that she believes that Gus is a not a child. Um, uh, she knows. <laughs> but we're trying to entrap him to see if this is true. Um, mm -hmm. and, entrap me. Yes. And he got. Oh, a... Lonnie's just trying to watch the chaos. It's hilarious. <laughs> at the at this point, it swung back around from being annoying to being hilarious again. Yes. And so Gus was trying to get the dog back from Maha that had bartered for it. And Gustav says, no, let them keep it. We can keep an eye on them with it. Um, mm. And we needed to get to the ethereal plane quickly at where the, ha the house was, the mansion where number mm -hmm. one was. So hyenas busted out of a building next door for odd reasons. And oh, no. yes. No, Fidget and, and Digit caught them for us. Oh. They did. And they are not just hyenas. Oh, no, they are genetic experiment. They are hyenas mixed with goblinoid blood. They are the piece of resistance of the two brothers. The reason why one's missing a hand and one is missing a leg. But let us not forget one part that you may have slid over. Uh, Maha is using that vision, and I can't remember what it's called, but it allows them to see into to the see ethereal, into ethereal plane. plane. So and Maha, what did you see? Do you remember what you saw, oh, Maha? Maha saw, saw something great. It's a long month. I'm trying to remember everything that happened. It's, as it's far as... okay. We... Gus remembers. Oh, Ooh, no, Gus. He doesn't actually know, but I know. I For whatever reason, I, you I saw, didn't write it. I think it was so big, I just wasn't writing. You, so. you noticed that Melanie's character and also um, Lucy are stand users. Only only people who have watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure get that. Oh, God. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. They they had these weird spooky ghosts next also, to them. Also, so did one, one pretty, the other one very evil. Wilbur did as yeah. well. <laughs> oh, but let us oh, not forget. True. Wait, right didn't I see something hyena. on? Didn't oh. I see something on Wilbur? Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes, you did. You, you got to see too. for the very first time an inkling of the Black Tongue God. And with that, please grab yourself a cup of coffee, perhaps a cup of tea, a little bit of water, and sit down as I take you on to this silliness that's about to transpire so you have all mounted fidget and digit you can hear fidget wait you can hear you can hear the yeah fidget yeah and he just smacks one on the ass and you guys start rolling out i thought they were staying behind so gus could go with oh. us 
Oh yeah, no, they're not. They're not oh, going. Oh okay, okay. They get the hyenas going, and you just hear one of you hear the posh one, which would be fidget, and his pinstripe would be robes. Well, I wouldn't put my hand in front of any of their mouths. They don't understand the difference between food and rider. And oh. off you go into Helena. This is safe. I'm sure <laughs> this is safe. Don't worry and about it. And you're hitting it hard. Dust gathering up across, people jumping out of the way. They're pretty much goblin hyenas, and they're large, they're big, and they're strong, and they smell horrific. But they move. And as you start getting through the streets, and I have, what do you I do? I'm, look, I'm looking into the ethereal plane, right, as we're doing Yes, this. you are. Would you like to roll a perception check, Maha, to see if you see anything else? Yes, I would. Okay. <gasps> 21. Ooh, chip. <coughs> see everything. The old, with so, my big old eyeballs. <laughs> Maha, as you begin to go and travel down, you realize, and as you turn, and you turn, and you turn, random ghostly figures. Not everywhere. Just every once in a while. Just a person. A face. People. Oops. They don't seem very interested in you. They're not really paying attention. With that 21, you notice pretty well that they're just kind of there, existing in the ethereal. And you continue. The trip isn't long. You make it to the outskirts of the mansion and you see that it's actually been closed off a little bit. A would-be rickety fence put around it and signs placed up saying caution, condemned, other things like that. So here's my question. Do you burst through the fence? What are you guys doing? Do uh, these hyenas have like reins on them or are we just holding on to their fur? You're holding on to their fur. Oh. I'm holding are on we to all on the hyenas? <laughs> And, and from my understanding, everybody got on them unless someone was uh, doing something different. I think we coupled up, didn't we? Mm -hmm. I yeah. couldn't remember if we said there were enough hyenas for all of us. You do feel that they are strong enough to make this jump. This is not a this is not a strong fence, and it's not very high. It's about maybe five feet. Oh, I'm just gonna assume that I'm I'm in the driver's seat of one you of are. them. You are. And, oh, and I'm, I'm with you. Still... I remember. Uh, um. Okay, doggy. Yip yip. And I, I try to kick my little feet on it, see if it'll jump. Give me a give me an animal handling check real quick. And anyone oh, that's gonna no. make the jump, give me an animal handling. I'm gonna say that Lonnie is definitely in control of one. Animal handling? Yes, please. That was a uh, seven. That's an eight. Mm. Uh, All right. I will be rolling mine in a second. <laughs> I don't know why my, uh, whenever I open my D&D Beyond, it starts broadcasting. Papa, is that you? <laughs> So, huh. you. Are we doing that in yep, a yep. second? Yep, yep. Uh, I feel very confident with our seven in the Oh, child. you should. You should oh, totally yeah. feel confident in that. Oh, yeah, this is great. This is going I believe great. in you, our driver of our particular hyena. How car. many hyenas are there out of curiosity? Um, uh, Lonnie's on one on her own. Wilbur is with you. Uh, Maha oh, is with us. So there's three, so okay. There's three in total. Okay. Oh wait, is Lucy with us? Oh, forgive me. No. Lucy's with uh, you, Lonnie. I forgot. Oh, oh yeah. Just, where yeah. is Ronan? I for... Because Ronan oh. was with us as well. No, oh, I thought this we is, went this back to the gourds. Is what I wrote down. Not oh yet. no no, because I'm I'm on drugs. Don't pay attention. Ronan is on a separate hyena. Ronan is actually on a hyena of his own. But but Lonnie is with is, 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 is Lucy is with Lonnie. And so, every once in a while, Gus is side eyeing. Um, Lonnie's hyena for reasons and it's... I'm going to say that's the reason why I roll so low in my animal handling for reasons. and Lonnie that moment that you're about to go make the jump you feel Lucy kind of grab you a little bit too strong and you're like oh shit and you kind of turn and you catch Gus giving the stink eye yes. and right at that moment when you go to jump 
Is Rory, do you want to just do? Do you just want to do it like a manual roll? Uh, I just rolled it. I got a nine. Oh man. All right. Yeah, this is the great, so, great party of animals. As you see this happening, Lonnie, you get squeezed. Actually, I'm gonna use my inspiration if one. I can. It doesn't oh. matter with skills. Skills does not matter if you get a natural one with skills, only for attacks. Sure. Sure, okay. if you want to... animal handling. I'm doing great. Ah, uh, yes, the kitty cat. Oh, that's a 13. Not so great. Taking away my inspiration. So, as you see, the hyenas stop in full throttle. You make it over the fence. Lonnie, not forgive me. Um, Rory and Wilbur. Oh. oh. The rest of you, on the other hand, I would oh, like no. you to make a dexterity saving throw for me for anyone that rolled below a 13. Oh no. 15. Uh, okay. Dexterity save, okay. 20. 20, Miguel. 30. 30. 30. Uh, what did I get? <laughs> oh, I got a 23. I have a nimble I'm, I'm, I am a ride. I am a rider, so <sighs> I am not a director. <laughs> so, as you, as you guys go and the then you slam into this gate you make it over the gate anyone who rolled over 15 you see lonnie she stumbles a little bit but she gets there gus magically pops right off that bad boy like if there was his business lucy on the other hand oh no bro as oh. lonnie jumps over she can hear the <laughs> as he goes through the gate lands flat on his ass and takes one point of damage and Ronan, <laughs> and as Maha kind of floats themselves a little bit over across, you will see Ronan just choop, jump over like if he's been riding these damn things since birth. He rolled a natural 20. Just do, 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 do. And you have made it. The hyenas. <sighs> you are here at the mansion. I don't put my hand in front of it, but I try to pat the back of its head be like... Good doggy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you see Ronan extend his hand out. No. <laughs> so you just... Ronan will be our beastmaster now. <laughs> and you then you see that he 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 does just kind of give you a look and he goes he says, These really aren't the uh, the pack animal that a child should be dealing with. Well they got us here. Yeah, fair. Lucy jumps up as if though nothing happened. Just no, kind of right patting there, the dust. Why wouldn't I be? All right, yeah, let's go. All right, yeah, yeah all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would it be, full of what, is, what is the tallest vantage point like around us right now? Uh, actually, not much. It's, it, the mansion was pretty much all on its lonesome. The tallest point would be a house that's a little bit way more down, and it's still just one floor. This is this mansion. Is the band? It, you can tell that this was once a really nice part of town, and this bench is a big old place. But you know where? Didn't we? Really, hmm? Didn't we blow it up? There's a big chunk of it that's gone. So it's one of those things that um, as you look at it now, and I'm glad that you mentioned that, you see the husk that is left of the mansion. No longer as beautiful as it once was. The pillars in front swing to the side. You can still smell sulfur in the air from the explosives. But do you enter? What are you up to? Uh, so I'm going to kind of look at you guys, and I'm going to kind of have like a dreamy look in my eyes. Because I'm not really looking around quite. In yeah, because I'm, I'm looking at other things while I'm looking at you guys. So uh, um, this Mr. Kitty Cat, remember, we focus. We got to... You gotta find the, the rock thing. You gotta point me to where I'm supposed to blink. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. Also, uh, do you, does, uh, Goose remember exactly where they were? Because, uh, Maha only sees, uh, some, it was, some ghosts it, a little bit every now and then. But nothing big. Ghosts? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, well, it was down where we fought the, the number guy. Do, in that chamber see? with the tubes and the and the people and the stuff. Do we and think the buttons? That maybe it'll be abandoned? Maha's going to look at uh 
Wilbur, who's like usually pretty good about like paranoia, <laughs> being safe. Mm. Yeah. Wilbur looks pretty spooky right now, though, doesn't he? The, the safe spooky man. <laughs> also, I love what you did with the map. Thank you. By the way, it's beautiful. Oh wow, that Wait, looks can, awesome. Would you mind like doing the shift click thing? In World Twenty, <gasps> thank you. I've been like lost somewhere on this map. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, what a pretty map! By the way, it makes all these maps. There's she so does. Many. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> um. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask, like, should we uh just like run in? No, no. Let me let me let me take a look. Let me see where I go. Uh, I am checking something. What you doing, Wilbur? Uh, is that just, Ronin? Just be safe. The I character say. is just loaded for me, and all I see is Ronan's beautiful, handsome <laughs> face. Oh. Beautiful face. Look at that just... dilf. Ooh. Uh, so this is actually Gives me a really, the vapors. This is really good point for us to um, comment something. We have been using artwork that we have found online. We lost um, somebody. We lost somebody. We lost Melanie. We've been using artwork. We lost Leo. Oh, we lost no, Leo. No, we lost Leo. We regain Leo. Hello, Leo. I mean, we are Hello. the same brain, so it's like this. So you pretty much said the same thing. Fair. <laughs> um, we had been using Hi. artwork. That, I'm sorry. That's okay. We had been using artwork that we had found online, and with the recent events, what happened with Critical Role, we, we definitely wanted to, we did not realize, and we do apologize that we were using artwork that we had found online, so we are now using all royalty-free images. So. Because oh, we're not a bunch of we're not a bunch of stinkers. I need to just send you the new line art for Maha. So, <laughs> what are we doing, guys? You're in front of the mansion. Um, Wilbur. I mean, well, are first you a off, spider? Uh, what is that spider? Well, that's not a thing yet. I haven't oh, that's it yet. Arches. That's, that's Arch. Arch. Archie. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, oh, you're okay. I haven't built it yet. But anyway. I'm just gonna kind of check out the area, scope it out a bit first. Sure, roll a roll a perception check for me. See if you see anything. See. Can I help him? Sure. Please do. I I'm helping you. My screen is acting up on me. If I cut out. What was going we're, on with we're, face, we're, so. we're still got you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you roll, guys? Uh, so what we'll we'll was going on? I was waiting for Leo's uh, assistance. Oh, uh, so I think you get advantage, right? With help? Oh, yeah, no, you can just uh, roll. Yeah. And, and, and Maha, how are, you, how are you helping them, by the way? Um. I am climbing on Wilbur's shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> just you kind of feel the you kind of feel the little hands kind of open up your eyes a little bit bigger than and, normal. Uh, it's just uh, like, well, sure. Um, I mean, with that help, that was a thirteen total. All right, Wilbur. As you begin to look around, the place looks pretty abandoned. Not really seeing any sign of life. You see that there's tons of footprints. It looks as if though there's been a lot of heavy guard in here. You can tell that these are deep. You don't really have to roll very high for that. The DC is not, not too crazy. Anyone with any type of common sense can kind of look in and be like, okay, this place has either been ransacked or there's just been a ton of people in here. Really? Mm hmm okay. We're probably fine, but let's go in quiet, yeah? And I'm going uh, to... I like, yes. stealth my way up. All right, bro. That's stealth for me. Everybody else, are you stealthing or are you just kind of... Me. Actually, what I would like to do is because I am on Wilbur, yes. uh, we're gonna we're gonna like double up on my stealth cloak. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna kind of like rep. Oh, we're like uh, invisibility cloaking this like Harry Potter. Okay. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Since it's not a fight situation or anything like that, so I'm gonna like I'm gonna allow that. Go for it. All right. Do you, I'll roll for the stealth. 
Wilbur? Yes. Sure. Okay. All right. So this will be my stealth roll plus five. Okay. Uh, so that 18 plus five is 23. All right. Everybody else is starting to make their way in or what are we up to? Roll the dime I'm... for stealth. My rolls aren't that great today, apparently. I'm going <laughs> to uh, use my totally human child, not halfling nimbleness and <laughs> try to skitter stealth my way between uh, the legs of, uh, of Francisco and I guess Maha, who's Riding them? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Everybody is a mount. Nat 20. <laughs> wow. <laughs> First natural 20 dedicated to Grim. Thank you for helping me. Go, so Grim. So, you all begin your way in. Some a little bit more stealthy than others. Rory. You remember this place. Do you know where to step? Nothing to it. The dining hall completely destroyed. The roof, certain pieces, you can just see pure sunlight pouring in. And Maha, you begin to see the greenish glow absolutely everywhere, as if though this whole place had been touched by something else. And you make it. Wilbur, do you see greenish glow everywhere? You do not. I was, about say, I was about to ask DM, do I? <laughs> mm, no. Uh, I'm going to start. Maha's going to, like, underneath the invisibility cloak. Mm. With the spell cloak. The spell cloak. I'm going to be like, Maha's going to point to where it, where it is and, like, whisper quietly to Wilbur. It's like, it's over there. I see some, some something green. Do I see this as well? No. Mm. Uh, I would like, yeah, and I'm gonna whisper that to um, to Rory, like whisper as a message. Sure. Mm -hmm. You hear them loud and clear. I look over to where they're pointing out. I'm assuming I still don't see it. No, but you begin to notice the massive crater that is in the ground where the encounter with one was. Mm. You don't see anyone. You don't hear anyone. But you do see something different. The smell of sulfur is gone here. Mm. The smell of flowers, fresh, greenery. As if you just stepped into the forest. This isn't like um, like this, the floweriness of a certain dead man with a mask, is it? No. Okay. No, no. no. <laughs> this is more of natural fauna and as you make your way up to the what? hole you see the tree that has begun to grow from the once corpse of one and flowers that are now besieging a place that was once a place of tragedy making it into some place of beauty it's wow. a little odd but Maha, roll perception for me real quick. Well, I have a way to, I can communicate back with you, Maha, right? When you whispered that, correct? Yeah, you can respond. Um, mm -hmm. It's those stones that we got from the... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have those, too. Yeah, we, we, all, have we all have the party chat. <laughs> That's right. Um, we well, party you didn't use the party chat, so I'm going to respond back the same way. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Are you seeing into the ethereal plane? Because I don't see anything. Oh... Yes, uh, Wilbur does not see either. This looks like something only in this plane. Please proceed with caution, Ori. Could that be the Lich's Emerald that you're seeing? What is it that I'm seeing? Roll that perception check for me. Oh, is that what you said? That was before. <laughs> okay, perceptioning. Uh, I got 11. It doesn't take much. Mm -hmm. As you turn, you see right in the center of this tree, a greenish glow, deep and dark, as it filters out, slowly misting onto the floor, you see a quarry, 
Now what? I have a question. Mm -hmm. So, right now, Maha is the only one who can see this tree. It's no, no, in, you all see the tree. The, but the only the person who sees the, liches, the piece of the Lich's Emerald is Maha. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. can you explain more about this quarry? What do you mean? Where is the quarry? Oh, oh no, the, the no the the emerald, darling. Oh, I mean, it's a figure speech. Oh, okay. It's a figure speech. <laughs> I was thinking the like, item, I was the thinking... item that you're looking for. Okay, I was thinking the like center. A, I was thinking a like bunch a, of dwarves <laughs> moved in and they started mining in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but uh, it, it it is where it's where you thought it would be at, and it's right there in the tree, waiting, uh, pulsating with so, power. So, uh. I'm gonna. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, wherever the edge, like the misty part of the green, uh, Maha is going to like tug on Wilbur and make sure that Wilbur doesn't get close. Um, well, yeah, yeah. And I I'm see. like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> well, can you see? It? You can't see the green, right? Yeah, but you know, he's green. kind of. He assumes that you're like trying to keep him away from like something to trip over or something. something spooky. Oh, oh, okay. Right. Move. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, Maha has a group chat. Um, so, Goose. Uh, yes? So, in the middle of the tree, and you guys can all hear this because I guess we're in a group chat. Uh, uh, there are. is something very scary. It is very deep in the tree, but it's green. And I, I still have that really cool wand my uncle gave me. Want me to blow up the tree? <laughs> No. Well, do, maybe we need well? to blink, blink to get the Lich's Emerald. It's in this dimension, so I don't think it'll matter if... Or it's not in this dimension, or this plane. So don't think we'll matter if you blow up tree. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I guess I'll do that. So, so I, I guess I cast Blink in, in front of the tree. And I start walking forward the ethereal plane and what what do I see boss a lot of things happen very quickly in moments like these when we try to have physics be quiet so that we can do something extraordinary and as you look through and you say you see just a spear can I see him oh yes mm-hmm but oddly enough, Gus, what for everyone else is just a matter of seconds. Gus, you reach out. You see the green glow across this whole section, the tree pulsating with the delicious gem in the center. And you go to reach out. I would like you to make a dexterity save for me. Oh, we should have told him not to use his bare hands. Oh, my bare hands. <laughs> I don't think it would have mattered if he used his, his halfling hands or his bare hands. <laughs> halfling hands. Hand. That was a six. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Maha. Wait. Dang it. Was it at a disadvantage or anything crazy? No. Maha. Huh. <laughs> As all this is happening, it comes to you in a flash. And you see something, someone, reach out for it at the same time. And Gus, you look up, and as you look up, there is a seven foot gaunt, not reptilian, but almost alien in the face. Very thin and long limbed. A scimitar on its side, dreadlocks long, 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 long down the side of its head, and the other side completely shaved. A scar that runs from the top of their forehead all the way down to their neck. And as you go to go grab the Lich's Emerald, you hear it. Ah. Uh... That's not for you, little one. Yeah, you can keep it. <laughs> Do I see this? Do I see this? You see it just for a second. 
And as you... Is that a gif? And as you roll down... You all hear it. And they're... Very reminiscent to the vision that you saw of the creature that stabbed its mind flare lord through its chest. Standing proudly and tall. Holding the piece of the Lich's emerald in their right hand in their left hand. And the hilt of the scimitar in the other. It stares up, eyes wide and yellow. Is this in our plane now? Yes. Have I blinked out? And you're right in front of them. You Did see you them see look this? down. Silver. Can I can I get like a reaction <laughs> from that? Because they, they just kinda of jumped me. Sure. What would you like to do? I'd like to shoot it with my big big bad fire wand. Yeah. Thank God. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go for it. You're gonna cool. hit this thing with a fireball. Alright. Um the wand of fireballs. Well, you don't. You don't have to. You don't have to roll to hit it. You just gotta go and tell me that you're gonna use a charge on it. All right, use a charge. Okay. As you see the creature stand in front of you and it holds this gem, you see Gus pull from his side his uncle's wand, and you see the gif. Well, you see the creature, which you know as a gif Yankee, kind of twists his head this way. Oh, jumping out of the way as this thing explodes into its quadrant, you see it escape nimbly, and it slides into the grass a little bit and stands up. Oh, interesting. Not what I was expecting, but that is my fault as well. Do you want it? That gem it's... belongs to us, I believe. This gem belongs to no one, child. This gem is the souls of many who have suffered. And we were this tested. does not. We were tasked mm -hmm. to destroy it. Then who might you oh. be, my child? I'm I'm sorry to to just bring this back for a second because I'm reading the description of the wand. Yeah. And he did a save of uh, 15? Yes. There's a dexterity save. He's got an 18 on the die. Plus a 3 for okay. this. The foot. Hey, just just checking. Just kind of no want worries. to obliterate someone today. No, no. Yeah. Dude, you, came, <laughs> and you, came, you came close. You came close. Thank God. <laughs> no, but um, as he, and you see him. Hold up. Are you the Is he just touching it? it? Oh, yeah. He, he's just touching it? Are you responsible for what's happened here? Uh, we are responsible to fix it. Yes. The broken part. Point, I pointed out, like, above yeah, the head we, of my heart. We totally beat up the bad guy, and and now that I've saved the town with my assistant's help, um, mm. we're here to uh, free those souls. Are you? Yeah, can we're I, the good guys. While I'm watching this guy hold this emerald, can I, like, do an arcane check because this is blowing my mind here okay right before you do that rory you look like you were going to say something i wanted to cast a spell pass without a trace where i could end up 30 feet in front of me to end up behind him now i'm going to let you make that arcana check real quick and then we'll go and we'll do the spell thing all right uh i'm at well I should have asked if Wilbur will do the Archon check. He's actually good. Oh, oh no. Uh, well, actually, I'm not too bad. I have a plus four. Okay. It can uh, assist. You want to? Maha's like, well, how is he doing that? You well, can give him a roll. Sure. Well, it's possibly okay. technical jargon. So I'm going to roll. One, I got a 23. You, even with that 23, this shouldn't be happening. Dang. <laughs> just shouldn't be. It really is just as simple. This shouldn't be happening. Rory, you cast. Choo. I would like you to make a self, uh, self check with me uh, for me with advantage. Uh, one sec. I think it says something about stealth in there. Oh, or is it plus ten? 
It's a plus 10. Yeah. It's a plus 10, forgive me. That'd be a dirt, uh, 25. 25. Do not open Tailspire. You, you make your way behind it. It doesn't seem to be in a aggressive posture, even after having this fireball blasted at it. Hmm. Hmm. So, uh, Maha is going ask. to whisper that. No idea. I, I don't want to interrupt you, Melly. I'm just going to tell Wilbur what I learned. I have no clue why he's doing that. <laughs> what? Learning. If I may ask, what are you planning on doing? Mm, that's the question. This does more damage here than it does good. We are hunting these pieces, you know. Something to think about. Let me look. Did you think this was the only one? No. Smart girl. That doesn't answer my question. For what purpose are you hunting them? There are creatures that are looking for these things. And I felt it. It sung to me, the voices. So I came. And you see, he drops it. Pick it up right from behind him, showing myself. <laughs> you pick it up? Hold on. See, just kind of. Mm. <laughs> it's like a giant Sweetie. cow person. You hold a cat. He just smiles. Animal handling. <laughs> Where are you headed from here? All of you. Do you even know? Uh. Well, uh. We don't know you. I, Maha doesn't have a name, so Maha's like. <laughs> so why you, should we stay? Because if you truly thought I was alone to come and acquire a piece of a soul gem, then you're out of your mind. Then he just smiles. We have a confidence of a person that has hurt before. I'm not here to hurt you. That's Can not I... my purpose. I'm sorry, DM. Um, have I ever heard of Githyanki before in my travels? You have. When they spoke to you about the memories that they saw in Windsor's castle. When the Githyanki rose against their elected more mind flare masters. And there was a revolution. And it seems that they had penetrated into some type of fortress. Or God knows what. And they killed a mind flare commander. Maha can speak that one word of Mind Flayer. Do you remember that? I'm not going to do it, but um, back in the day when we figured out something was going on. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what the word was? Um, give me a second. I got to look at my notes. Sure. <laughs> but um, Maha's something thinking. Something horrible like death to, to all the Githrankis or, or whatever. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Um, you guys do stuff while I, while I look it up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, as you are all standing there, you see that the Gifinki turns. My time here is short. If you it. are truly who you think you are, or truly who you believe to be, and he looks at all of you, mm -hmm. we will see each other again soon. Uh, Maha hey, hey. Is... Oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah. No, no, you go no, ahead, Gus. No, you. Mine no, was you. just gonna save some time. Okay, me. Um, hey, uh, so no, no hard feelings about the whole fireballs, right? <laughs> you, you did kind of jump me first. He's <laughs> got a mm -hmm. point. Lonnie's eyes flick to his sword, and says, "I look kind forward." Of fidgets there. at the handle. Oh, I'm sure you do. And he just turns to Gus. Maybe next time you hit me. Maybe next time I hit you. 
it's all to think mm. about in the future. That's fair. Hmm. Uh, I like to stand up on uh, Wilbur's. You're seven foot tall, right? Yep, she is. Tall. So Maha's gonna stand on your shoulders. <laughs> you are now taller than Nicky Pinky. Maha is gonna look down, um, but try not to be like rude being too tall because Maha's never been this tall before. Uh, <laughs> Maha's gonna be like, uh, does, uh, are, is lizard person? Because I don't know what this thing is. Uh, maybe strike alliance. Uh, we, Maha and everyone has destroyed crystals before and mm. seems like maybe on the same page. Do you fire magic at all of your allies? Oh, only, only boosts sometimes on accident. And only you the ones that attack me first. And you weren't A right of initiation. And you weren't um, an ally at the time. I say from behind him. Ah, uh, yes. Or the Burblock, who has come so close that they could almost stab me in between the ribs. I put my hand on his shoulder. <laughs> oh, okay. It's very nice to stab you in between the ribs. Mm. Uh, Maha's nice. gonna be like, uh, see, we would be strong allies, see? Your path leads you to a place of darkness. We will meet each other there. Mm. There goes your crystal. If I were you, I would perhaps do some research. You seem a little lost. Unfortunate. I'm going to leave. And I'm going to leave you with your lives. For today. What is your name so kind of you? Sir, Maha is Maha, I offer. He turns to all of you. We do not have names here. My name is not important. Just the mission. Mm. We will meet again. Mm. Be just, safe. Just what? Just the mission. Just oh, the mission. mission. Okay. Uh, so, Maha. The lifted have plans for this place. Mm. And there are other creatures, perhaps, that are helping or watching. Maha goes um, real quiet and is like, The lifted are all gone. Yes? <laughs> Close, but not yet. Soon, there'll be a day. We have destroyed their monuments, their power. And soon we will find the rest of them. You'll see. We will meet each other in the Citadel of Midnight. Be safe until then. Wait a minute. Uh, meet for what? We are allies mm -hmm. now. Combat. Destruction of our mutual enemy. Maha will go quiet. Oh, okay, cool. I'm down for that. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say, and this is a curiosity as well, if they speak under common, Maha will say, what does midnight in uh, the labyrinth? How would we know? Where the drow were once driven out by the elite, and they ran back to destroy <coughs> Do you think that the drow did it on their own? No. You will find the creature there that has been watching you for a long time. Maha Bashu. Be fair, my dear, dear, dear allies. Try not to shoot any more fireballs at allies. Ooh. And you see that he touches the hilt of his blade does anyone impede him as he looks to see that he's going to activate a magical item he's not hiding wave it. and i say no promises <laughs> Bonnie just you know does a i let it happen personally 
My hair kind of tight, or my hands kind of tighten on Wilbur's head. Um, is it an issue that I'm still touching him? Like, it, something's bad. No, you see, you see that he actually goes in, go and home? that he will go and turn, and as he does turn to meet you, he gently puts his hand on yours. Excuse me, young lady. Twenty-two. He just politely pulls you off. And he turns to you. Have we met? And as he holds the scimitar. And Maha, right when the ethereal magic goes to go off of your eyes, you see that he jumps back into the blind. And as he does, he begins to literally sprint up the wall and continue and as he does you see one two three four five six others all begin to make their move when you said when you see one and you started counting yeah. I'm like yeah. motherfucker yeah. he's like... still alive <laughs> I have the same reaction we, we have a like a parent, like a PTSD with the numbers. and for and for that I moment that and, and for that one. I was gonna say and for that two. moment that Rory feels that way she turns and you see the tree grow another flower <laughs> and with that we're gonna head out to break everybody we'll be back in just a few minutes it hold on be. to your hats be right back and Maha's watching them go nobody else sees. Thank God you guys did not start a full off fight in them. Holy shit. So, water. Let's give you a little bit of water. If you want to make it look really dark, you can do squares, you can do circles. brain is breaking. Since I've turned like 30, I'm like, I'm just going to do the, the, the thing I like, even if it's awful. Like, oh, that's not, there's no, no, you don't. Wrong you with don't that. I was going to no, say, no, it's I not feel, that your brain is breaking. Like you ran out of shits to give. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, no more shits to give. Yes. Look at it. It's wonderful. <laughs> I think it's really, it, well, they talk at my field of facts. It is barren. <laughs> it's barren. Exactly. <laughs> and like, I'll tell you something. I hit the age of 30. Like a poor deer being ran out into the waters. Did you hear that? See. Okay, well. It's pretty heartless. I mean, I'm not really terribly leading. I'm just doing that. I don't want to do that actually. Um, you want some of this action? I was like, yeah. Alright, you're lucky I ran out of stamina. You'd be dead. Watch out when I get stamina. Everyone's gonna be real sad they ran into me. Catch my breath. When I catch my breath, you get your ass kicked. I am the danger. I am the danger. You're I'm not trapped in here with you. But you're doing with me. These skeletons. They're gonna be like, I wish I didn't wake up today. Yeah. Yes. I wish I'd stayed dead. I wish I wish I was really dead. Dead dead. Oh, wait, wait. My mouse to move it slightly. <laughs> oh. 
by that in real life. Absolutely. 100% I wish I could do this in real life. Um, because I can do it in theory when on simple things, but like on my homework and studying, uh, you know, I do it the hard way. <laughs> my ADD just kicks in. It's like, you're going to do this one thing perfectly. PC or PC as your character, who would it be? Wait, did we, <laughs> did Emily say who, who, uh... Who you praise? Who, who the, was wild, your the wild mother, the green mother. Um, oh, but I've okay. been having entanglements with the black tongue god. Mm. For all of you out of curiosity about the black tongue god, you'll stay with your curiosity. <laughs> yeah, because you won't I was get like, any information. The player is very curious. The Just go and know. Picked up that wood and it floated under the sky. Just roll a 26. <laughs> no. A 25. Oh, close. Jesus Christ. Did you actually roll a 20? A 25. 25. <laughs> because chaos has now He's begun adorable. to rage. Oh, she just knocked over that tree! What? That's pretty epic. No wonder she could break our uh, fossil. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. She's a strong, independent yeah. dragon lady. The strongest thing on this mountain. Uh. Odin really doesn't like you. Uh, uh, scanning. Are a dangerous place. Yeah, it looks so nice, but it's really misleading. Look at those flowers. Those flowers will fuck you up. In theory. For the first time. It's like Australia, honestly. Yeah, we're like in the Outback of California. I'm into that. It's a dang Outback! Oh, it's really pissed off! Ah! Maha is going to ask them for a festive drink. Aww. <laughs> uh, the rogue will look at Maha for a moment and then look at Ebenezer. Uh, we have, what you, uh... What do you like to drink in the rain and Windsor at this time of year? <laughs> That's the stomach. Beer. I drink beer. <laughs> would, would you like oh, one? I will take one beer. <laughs> beer for everyone? Beer for everyone? Oh, I'll take some mulled wine, please. Eyebrow. Because at this point I know, don't I? Yeah. Eyebrow. It's mulled wine! It's better than beer! I'll Just take sorry. some milk and honey. Jeez. I'm gonna take you there. Uh, uh, the editor elves, have, I finally got a bit rate working, and sometimes Twitch gets a little bit angry, so we're gonna go and try this one more time. As you may know me, I am Danny, or you may also know me as Xanaris, the dungeon master of the Legion game that we play every Thursday at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Well, you might be, you might find this very sexy, Cheshire, but I look at my organization system. I built an entire house around this room. Everything else is secondary compared to these beautiful boxes. I'm not yet, but it will be full of treasure for the glory room. I mean, for the meadow. Not the glory hole, which is a thing in this game. That's one of our goals. 
Ah! Maha's gonna look and be like, be happy you have hands. Oh god! <laughs> I, I, I thought even Wolver's like, yeah, yeah. Maha's literally just thinking of Eric and like how sorry he oh feels for him. Oh my gosh. Him. But yes, yeah, I'm like unintentional intimidation. <laughs> Extreme intimidation. <laughs> you see, he just kind of holds an eye for a second. I want, I want me hands and don't. Um, <laughs> he, he just starts to walk. He, he literally just walks in between the both of you. Get out of my way! Out of my way! And he just goes and starts <laughs> walking down. Just like, if, I, if I see you again, I'll kill you. You hear me? If I was smart, I would have done one shelf to its fullest and completed it. That way, I wouldn't actually have to burn an ash fire to the second shelf, because it would have already been there. So long. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, fire up here. Actually, what am I doing? If I was smart, I would have done one shelf to its fullest and completed it. That way, I wouldn't actually have to burn on a fire to the second shelf, because it would have already been there. So long. You want some of this action? He's like, yeah. Uh, you're lucky I ran that stamina. You'd be dead. <laughs> you watch out when I get stamina. Everyone's. Gonna be real sad they ran into me. <laughs> catch my breath. <laughs> I catch my breath. <laughs> Get your ass kicked. <laughs>
I was gonna no, say, no, it's I not feel, that your brain I is breaking, like you ran out of shits to give. <laughs> yes, yes. There are no more shits to give. Yes, look at- it's wonderful. <laughs> I think it's really- it, well, they took it my field of flux. It is barren. <laughs> it's barren. Exactly. <laughs> and like, I'll tell you something, I hit the age of 30. PC or PC as your character, who would it be? Wait, did we- <laughs> did Emily say who- who, uh... Yeah. Who you praise? Who, who the was wild, your god? The wild mother. The new mother. Um, oh, but I've okay. been having entanglements with the black tongue god. Mm. For all of you, out of curiosity about the black tongue god, you'll stay with your curiosity. <laughs> no, you won't get like, any information. The player is very curious. The Just go and know. Heartless. I mean, I'm not really terribly vegan. I'm gonna take you there. Uh, uh, the editor elves, have, I finally got a bit rate working, and sometimes Twitch gets a little bit angry, so we're gonna go and try this one more time. As you may know me, I am Danny, or you may also know me as Xanaris, the dungeon master of the Legion game that we play every Thursday. At seven o'clock Eastern. I don't think fire does much damage. It did thirty-eight to her just now. Oh, she just knocked over that tree. What? That's pretty epic. No wonder she could break our uh, fossil. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. She's a strong, independent dragon lady. The strongest thing on this mountain. Uh. Odin really doesn't like you. I am the danger. I am the danger. You're, I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. The skeletons. They're gonna be like, I wish I didn't wake up today. Nah. Yes. I wish I'd stayed dead. I wish I wish I was really dead. Dead dead. Oh, wait, wait. Just roll a 26. No. A 25. Oh, close. Jesus Christ. Did you actually roll a 20? A 25. A 25. <laughs> because chaos has now it's begun adorable. to rain. Maha's gonna look and be like, be happy you have hands. Oh god! <laughs> I, I, I thought even Wolver's like... Yeah! Yeah! Maha's literally just thinking of Eric and like how sorry he oh feels for him. Oh my gosh! Him. But yes, I mean, like unintentional intimidation. <laughs> extreme intimidation! You see, he, he just kind of holds an eye for a second. I oh, want me hands and don't... Um, yep. He, he just starts to walk away. He, he literally just walks in between the both of you. Get out of my way! Out of my way! And he just goes and starts walking down. Just like, if I, if I see you again, I'll kill you. You hear me? My mouse to move it slightly. <laughs> Play that in real life. Absolutely. 100% I wish I could do this in real life. Um, Because... I can do it in theory when on simple things, but like on my homework and studying, uh, you know, I do it the hard way. <laughs> my ADD just kicks in. It's like, you're going to do this one thing perfectly. Maha is going to ask them for a festive drink. <laughs> uh, the rogue will look at Maha for a moment and then look at Ebenezer. Uh, we have, what you, uh... What do you like to drink in the rain and Lindsor at this time of year? <laughs> That's the stomach. Beer. I drink beer. <laughs> would, would you like I'll, one? I will take one beer. 
Beer for everyone. Beer for everyone. Oh, I'll and take some mulled wine, please. Eyebrow. Because at this point I know, don't I? Yeah. Eyebrow. It's mulled wine. It's better than beer. I'll Still take sorry. some milk and honey. Jeez. On fire. I didn't notice you. Yeah, super tall. PC or PC as your character, who would it be? Wait, did uh -huh. we? Did Emily say who, who, uh, who you praise? Who, who the was wild, your god? The wild mother, the green mother. Um, oh. But I've okay. been having entanglements with the black sun god. Mm. For all of you, I have curiosity about the black sun god. You'll stay with your curiosity. <laughs> Yeah, you won't I was get like, any information. The player is very curious. The Just go and know. You want some of this action? He's like, yeah. Uh, you're lucky I ran out of stamina. You'd be dead. Watch out when I get stamina. Everyone's gonna be real sad they ran into me. <laughs> when I catch my breath, you get your ass kicked. Just roll a 26. <laughs> no. A 25. Oh, close. Jesus Christ. Did you actually roll a 20? A 25. 25. <laughs> because chaos has now it's begun adorable. to reign. Well, you might be, you might find this very sexy, Cheshire Man. Look at my organization system. I built an entire house around this room. Everything else is secondary compared to these beautiful boxes, which we haven't filled yet. But they will be full of treasure for the glory hole. I mean, for the meta hole. Not the glory hole, which is a thing in this game. Like a poor deer being ran out into the waters. Did you hear that? I see. Okay, well. It's pretty heartless. I mean, I'm not really terribly leaving. <laughs> you don't see anything else. I don't need to hide today. Maha is going to ask them for a festive drink. The rogue will look at Maha for a moment and then look at Ebenezer. Uh, we have. What do, you, uh, what do you like to drink in the rain and Windsor at this time of year? <laughs> That's the stomach. Beer. I drink beer. <laughs> would, would you like oh, one? I will take one beer. <laughs> Beers for everyone. Be yeah. And welcome back, everyone. We have come back to Legion. We've all had our moment to go take a bio break, had something to drink, maybe something to eat. And we're here to whisper wonderful, sonorous, sweet things into your ears. So, sweet things. Ears. As you stay now into the pit. There was once a place of destruction that is slowly becoming a haven of perhaps something new. A life born of a life. I do an arcana check on that tree. I don't trust it. Yeah, I don't trust the, the tree. Did it. Sure. I don't trust that tree. I mean, you were there when Rory birthed it, weren't you? Mm hmm. Is that how that happened? Is yeah, that how yeah. that happened? I, it's been a while. Okay, I, I don't remember I, a tree happening. I cast Entangle inside of Number One's body. With and his heart for an, ah, and okay. for and for a little bit of flavor, the DM had some stuff happen. But okay. the tree's perfectly fine, from what you can tell. 
and you all stand there alone in the quiet the gem mm -hmm. Wilbur, I would like you to make a will save for me, please. With disadvantage. Wilbur? Yeah. Wilbur? Mm -hmm. Oh. Got some bad touch. Maybe. Got some bad touch, bad touch <laughs> the, the bad touch is in uncomfortable touch, not a bad one. It's a 14. <laughs> for anyone that doesn't That's know, disadvantage, Wilbur, yeah. Wilbur has uh, the black tongue god hanging out with them. We call him the bad touch god. For just a moment, Wilbur, I... you look at the gem. Take it. Use it. It is yours for the taking. And then for a moment, you look at it again. And your eyes focus on it. And something logical comes over you. This isn't the real prize. This isn't the true emerald. It's just a fraction of it. Why lose the game now when we can wait? Is this what the creature is saying? No. Nope. Your thoughts just become intrusive like that for just a moment. You hear it in your own voice. No. I can wait. And, that I and there you are. Right. So. Somebody get that thing, yeah. I, I had kind of wake it in my hand. You mean destroy it? Yeah. No, you're rude. Is, is that what we have to do to free the souls? You know, he never said what they were doing with them. Who? One? Or the kiss? The kiss. Oh, it's a kiss. Good uh, thank you. So, remember that Gatanky said that they came because somebody wanted it? Is that what they said? That they're collecting it. He mm -hmm. said that many look for them. We told him that our what we were planning on doing was destroying it. And he let us take it. Yeah. But he also said that we needed to do our research. Well Who has the bag of holding? Mm, oh, me. No. Both games you have a bag of holding, huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh! It's our, it's our baby. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say baby? Yes. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's just a baby. The bag An is actual baby. Violently, violently jumping I'm up not and a down. Baby. Violently? Um. Is, do we just see like Lonnie like like hopping around? A, a little. You Next. see the bag. You can. You can probably go and tell it. Like, well, before I can forget, we do something uh, about this thing? Yeah, knock it out again. Um, knock it out again. <laughs> oh, we just knock out the baby. Good idea. It's an option. Anyway, hang it like a bag of potatoes. Yeah. Do you know why the gift let us go, right? Why? Mind flares on the underdog. He probably knows we're headed that way. He's gonna kind of stand and. He's probably hoping that we are going to bring this to him. No, he knows we're going to be there. He knows that Maha's from the shoe. He knows we're going to a dark place. Were you not um, there for any of that conversation? That part that part of the conversation was an undercommon. I speak undercommon. I don't. Oh, you do? okay. He does. He does. This, I this is a, a sibling squabble. Okay. Meanwhile, Gus looks at Maha and like, you lived in the shoe? <laughs> oh yes, I look at I'm, I'm still on the uh, Wilbur's shoulders. And I feel very. Tired. Oh, I'm looking up. <laughs> <laughs> Wilbur feel, shrugs, so you just see Maha go. Mm -hmm. You feel <laughs> you feel Ronan's hand on your back, Wilbur. Mm. He's not wrong, Rory. I think it's a little bit of both. Mm. I think he just wants to see what we're capable of. 
we either destroy it and show that we're worthy allies, we take it out of curiosity, or we use it. Well, I look down at the tree. There's no way any one of us is going to use it. I got some information while I was in the plane. Well, I was going to look at Rory and like frown because uh, Maha saw Rory die with this the eyeball, the arcane eye, and Maha's gonna be like, Rory, what did you see? I got to speak to Mother Margaret, and I also saw Prime coming to the, uh, the planet, and an asteroid. Oh. What? He was flaming down in an asteroid, um, and crashed into a pond. A lake. A, a lake. Like a pond, but bigger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maha is like Rory that does not make sense a lot of what I went through did not make sense but we should get going and talk on the road because we need to meet up with I almost say Dristella's name but I don't I stop and I look at Gus and like we should meet up with our compatriots and as you say that Roy, Ronan turns and he puts his hand over yours I can take this to destroy it. Unless all of you want to keep it. How can you destroy it? I don't know yet. But if it stays here, that's a mistake. I want to ask Umbra, any ideas on how to destroy that thing? I want to <clears throat> ask Ronan something too. I ask him why he's so damn handsome. <laughs> <laughs> You said that you asked Umbra, yes? Mm-hmm. Huh. You hear a soft voice in your left ear. Mm. Soul energy. I... I remember some of it, but not all of it. I... My, my master, I've told you that my master was once the most powerful being in the universe, didn't I? I've shared that with you. You've Haven't mentioned I learned? it a time or two. I was his apprentice, you know. And then I wasn't. I... I'm sorry, I, I don't... I don't seem to remember, but um, uh, no, that's a conversation for another day. But um, I will say, if the cleric can take it, it would probably be safer with him. Not saying that your friends throw caution to the wind, but... And you hear the voice? Now... Did we hear that conversation between you and Umber, or is that only in your head? Just in her head. Especially in her yeah. head. Because sometimes, he sometimes he Umbra it. has it aloud. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> Umbra does talk out loud. And that it's very, very confusing to know which time is which. I, I will, I will, I will do better in vocalizing that. But uh, Lonnie does still default to talking to Umbra in her head mm -hmm. because uh, she is aware that that looks the tiniest bit crazy. <laughs> That's fair. And she's very self-aware, so, like, uh... She's the most self-aware character probably in this group. Presentation-wise. <laughs> what? You mean Gus isn't? Well, Gus, Gus is, is the most self-aware. <clears throat> he knows that he's a human. <laughs> Lonnie, that bag is still jumping up and down, and that crystal is oh, right there in front of all of you. What are we doing? Um, I say to the group, the only person that can tell us about this is Mother Margaret. We've been told that. It, it, we've been told that by many people. Uh, uh, Mahan 
knows that Mother Margaret is very not helpful. She's actually. currently chained up. What? She is <laughs> chained in the plane uh, where I went. Number I mean, one did that to her. What? Uh, Maha's gonna go quiet. I. It wasn't in the ethereal. It wasn't in the ethereal. It was like a shadow fell, like place she was in, right? It wasn't shadow fell. In inside of the gem. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wait, she's in the oh. gem. Mm -hmm. <gasps> So, to so Gus is getting nervous at the jumping bag, and and uh, uh Miss Lonnie, if if you let Lonnie, me, Lonnie, by think the way, I can... has like hooked it back over and is just holding it like this. <laughs> I think I can. I can assist with with that baby Personally, problem you have. If your heavy thinks that he can uh, do something with the gem, then let him take it. Uh, but Maha if we... would like to look at. Run okay, it. just ignore me. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> if we need information, we need to talk to Mother Margaret. We were told to get information. If we destroy it, we might release Mother Margaret back into the world. Uh, Rory, what um, was she chained with? Maha is curious. You did not say, Daniel. You just said that she was standard chains, right? Just chained. Why don't you guys just try destroying it right now? Can you just like hit it really hard or? No, it needs to you be see psychic. You see stuff at it? it, it I, I, Lucy, Lucy it needs to be psychic. It needs to be psychic. Any blunt force to it will actually cause an explosion. We've had this conversation before back at the mansion. <laughs> oh. Fair. Fair. Okay. Fair. That just glare at you, Lucy. <laughs> Ronan, what is, what would, Maha does not know much about religion, only uh, about a little bit of clockwork. So uh, maybe Maha is insensitive here, but uh, what is best way to help souls be released? Uh, maybe, maybe Claire. I feel I that this be. might be above our pay grade. And I think we need to find someone that can go and help. But you taking this to the Underdark doesn't... Bringing this to Ilasu. I don't know. I don't think that's a good idea at all. No. I do feel that it would be safe with all of you. But if I'm a target, I'm a target with Lucy. Yeah. We can maneuver faster. It's up to all of you. And that bag is really getting upset. I, I was trying to say, um, Miss Lonnie, that I could just put whatever's in there to sleep. Oh, it could so, not be awake, so Maha does not think that works. Well, it fell that asleep in the office, remember? Well, it said it did. You know what, uh, just, just open it, uh, like a t little tiny opening that I could, like, stick my finger in there. <laughs> the bag! Why are you, why are you laughing? Lonnie, oh, do me a... Why are you all looking at me like that? So as you guys start to go and maneuver, Lonnie, make a uh, strength check for me. Save or a check? Strength check, please. Just flat. Yep. I would have preferred to save. <laughs> That's a six. So Yeah, the best six. As you go to put your <laughs> finger in. All right. You literally see this thing up. And it climbs itself out. <laughs> I, I can't sleep. I can't sleep on it. I can't sleep on it right now. Uh, uh, and oddly enough, you see magical Z's come out of your hand and hit it. Second level. It's not awake. How does it go to sleep? He said he went to sleep. It's me. Oh, but what, it was a lie. What, what's going on, GM? I. It is a thing. I. I does <laughs> not sleep. 
I kick it. <laughs> <laughs> I kick it in its little robot head. I, uh, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it like hanging Sleep. out of the bag? That eye has escaped the bag. Oh, okay, so it's not. Why would you place eye in the bag? Sleep. Where else would you put you? It. Yeah. <laughs> it just mesmerized that it's alive and just watches it. Like I'm a fan. I'm like a fan girl at of this thing. Like this is so cool. Where have you brought I? Oh. I I use the uh, communication thingy to tell Rory hide the goods. I am not hide able to hear you. Uh, I don't make any response. Oh. Uh oh. Hide the goods. I I I I. And then I just say in the. The communication, well, fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> you see Lucy walk up behind it and put his hands around it as he's holding it muffled. We need how to big, go. How big is this thing, by the way? Not very. About two foot, maybe like two foot eight. It's small. It's real small. Like three feet on a good day. Uh, Maha will pull out a crowbar and be like, oh. I. <laughs> Be quiet. Come with us. You will be safe. Do not threat. Let us go. Where are the hyenas? threat with the crowbar. <laughs> uh, oh. Do we know if that thing has any means of communicating with its masters? That's why we put it in the bag of holding because we didn't know. I, I point to the crowbar. Oh, and, and don't worry about that. It's um, a sleep device. Yeah. You yeah. see Lucy kind of turn his head too as it turns his head. <laughs> and Ronan will say aloud. A what device? A sleep device. A sleep device. Sleep <laughs> device. <laughs> you, you do see Ronan stop. You need to go. All of you. Um, as we're doing this, Maha would like to. I wish I had another metal object. Uh. On its head and be like, be quiet. We have to go. Roman said, "Okay." I. Quiet. Okay. I, I, I think he <laughs> Lucy slowly moves his hand away from it. I walk past and I do. <laughs> Lonnie, Lonnie tries to like catch Lucy's attention. And does this. Does what? I missed that. What did she do? I missed it. You see All right, that he, everyone out. For a moment, he also covers his own eyes. No. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lucy's, Lucy's one bright crown in the box. <laughs> <laughs> so you begin to make your leave. Lonnie definitely, like, as Lucy walks past, Lonnie definitely, like, does up on the back of his head. I get I get confused easy, I'm sorry. You see that Ronan, Ronan does look at all of you again. The gem. Before we leave. I look at What are we doing? I look at the group. Are we contacting Mother Margaret? Or... Do we even have a way? I mean, you kind of had to die to talk to that person. That was an extreme I way. I don't want to personally have to kill you if that's what you want. I'm. Mm. Um, it's not good. Having dealt with this before, may I roll Arcana or something to know if there's a way, like I did with Vandela, a way to I'll, access? I'll put it to you this way. I'm not even going to have you roll for it. You need someone that is very knowledgeable in the arcane to do this without someone getting very hurt. We could always you go could always, to Bowen. You could always go to Windsor. I was about no. to say Windsor was Fuck good, no. but I don't <laughs> trust Windsor. Fuck that. Um, King Bowen. of the West. Bowen. Gus is arcanely versed. Would he know of any magical contacts? Yeah, because uh, someone that's good with magical items would be great. Like Gus is a human boy. What does he know about magical gems? You know what? I'm Gus a wizard. Like, yeah. I'm gonna let you do a history check, see if somebody pops up into me on in your mind. Okay. 
eight. Okay. Yeah, that's a great eight. Oh, right know. now, there's a lot going on, and you feel that if you had a moment to really sit down and think, you could probably get it. But this thing's this thing's kind of spooking you out. The Gith Yankee just weirded you out. There's a lot going on in a very short period of time. So you can we definitely get rid of yourself. that weird baby thing. I don't like the way it looks at me. You see, I'm not Lucy looking at you right fist. now. Lucy has eyes covered. No, don't like that. <laughs> Why do you guys have that? Where did that come from? I don't remember that before. Oh. Uh, it was. We'll talk of... later. <laughs> we'll talk later. Yo, I'll think okay. About, I'll think about. You're awfully nosy, See what we can do. I mean. That thing's weirding me out. I, I, I don't want to know anything about that. I just want it to stop looking at me. So cool, isn't it, Goose? It's so cool. I mean, you see we could eyes. probably get sell little, it for, for a pretty good price back at my uncle's shop. Little glass oh. eyes blinking. That's oh, so cool. It's so cool! Maha's just like... Just, Maha does not keep his eyes off of it. Mr. Big hate. Guy, cover its eyes again. I don't like what it's doing. <laughs> I is, I is a prototype. I is a construct given intelligence through magic and science. Mm -hmm. I is amazed. Anyway, where are the hyenas? You want to see where they go? I, oh, I just... whistle for my my puppy dogs. You uh, you see that they're just kind of there. When you whistle, it doesn't come to you though. You just kind of see them <laughs> sitting there. You gotta get those things trained. Are they female or are they male? Uh, when you go to go look, you actually see that these are male. Oh. So they're the smaller ones. Jesus. They are. So where's their matriarch? Good question. <laughs> so. Okay. Good puppies. Don't eat me. Keep your hand you see, away from before, them. Before you get on all of Ooh. them, Lucy will actually stop you this time. You still haven't made a fucking decision. We breaking this thing, we taking this thing. Hmm. I think uh, Bo originally wanted us to get it for him, but he wanted to place it on his mantle. He might be willing to help us destroy it, or he could just as easily steal it and put it on his mantle. I... I look, guys, I... That thing gives me the heebie-jeebies, and I didn't like all the bad stuff that happened because of it. So, so I think you should break it Can we and attempt, get it over with. Like, could we attempt? To, how far are we from the edge, like a forest away from the town? There is no place here that is remotely safe. Okay. Anywhere, especially with the size of this thing, the, the explosion that would occur from it would probably kill all of you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, but uh, is this die. thing still like <laughs> out in the open? Did anyone put it in a bag or, or a cloth of any kind? It's in my hands still. I mean, I okay. tried to tell someone to put the goods I'm gonna, away, but I'm gonna. They're ignoring my calls now. <laughs> I'm gonna dig out just a random pouch. I'm confident that I have picked up enough trinkets that I've sure. got this random pouch. Just pocket that's it. It's big enough, and like. Put it in there. Mm. Okay. I, I, I grab mean, the pouch. I say we in. give it to Ronnie. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Rory. I, have, I have conflict because we, we've been told by many people to get information. We destroy it before getting information. Mother Margaret is out trying to hunt us again. You see Ronan pick up his hand. Why not give me time? I can see if I find someone that can go and check it out. That's not with you. Okay. That could work. Yeah. I say whether we try for information or whether we try to destroy it, we give it to Ronan anyway. Because our next destination, I don't oh, think this thing should be anywhere near no. that. I just mm -hmm. While uh, everyone else is talking, can I get open a private line to my uncle? Wait, they do private lines? He's got a little, he's got a special little device in his ear. Oh, he has a different one, doesn't he? Mm hmm. I'm special. Hello. Hey, Uncle. Um, 
so we retrieve the lich's stone? Do you do want me to do anything with it? I mean, it could be valuable, but wait, it's wait, also wait, 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 big old wait, 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 wait. weapon. Take, take, take two steps back and take a breather. Mm. I want to make sure I'm hearing this right. You have the what now? The the lich's stone. That is what it's called, right? Or... Boy, do you mean the lich's emerald? Emerald stone. It, it's a rock. <laughs> it's dangerous. Where the hell did you get the lich's emerald from? Um. The ethereal plane where I left it. Context. Context. Okay. Yes. Okay. It was a big battle against the number guy. Um, and in the last ditch effort for it, him not to kill us all, I just grabbed it from his chest and blinked into the Wait. ethereal plane Pick and then dropped Wait. him there. Wait just a second. Are you telling me that number one? had this thing in his body yes look if you hadn't had to go on business we could have had this talk and you would have known all this already oh cord almighty oh, oh. so Follow but it's it's okay um we got it you got um, it yeah you we got, got, it. We got it back. i don't got it <laughs> but i could get it for the record lonnie is currently the one Oh, I would not have no, given it to you. I... I would have put it in the bag and held on to it, but I would not have given it to you since I'm standing right next to Ronan to give it to him. Okay, so Rory is holding on to it in her hand. In you, their hand. Actually, you actually hear Gus. Gustav. Don't touch that thing. Do not. Do not engage that. That's like some fairy tale nonsense shit. Um, Rory is holding on to it right now, and... I don't know how I feel about that. And they're also ignoring my calls for some reason. They're acting a little weird. Everyone's acting weird. I think they're on to me. I think now might be a good time to exit stage left and allow our friends to go and partake on whatever miserable scheme that they've got planned out. I really don't see the profit in this. Neither do I. <laughs> Time to go. And Lonnie, I realized that I the only reason why I would not have given it to you is because you don't have psychic powers and you would have had issues with yeah. So I definitely would not have given it to you. No, that's but, cool. But no I worries. was more like this is in somebody's hands, probably the most difficult time to try and steal it off of somebody. Yeah. So no crystal digitation, some stealth checks. I can get it. Physically <laughs> holding on to it. <laughs> I like that you're going to press the digitation, clean us up, and be like, oh, boop, mine now. <laughs> I mean, so, you're all talking some important stuff, so I could just be like, pickpocket, pickpocket. So now that all of yeah. you have done your your moment with it. Can I, can I ask Ron one more thing? Sure. Uh. So, um, I'll, I'll look at Rory, who I think still has it, right? Um, so, uh, Ronan, I can, um, uh, with clockwork uh, magic, I can put a glyph on it so that it doesn't fall in wrong hands. And if it does, um, it explodes. That's awesome. The my fear of that Maha is that if it gets stolen by accident and they open up the bag to check it, they've killed us and anyone else within about a hundred foot radius. Well, uh, the spell would also have careful on it, so I could protect us. But the logic there would need to be thought through. But Maha just yeah, that Maha works. just Not here. wants to think about something like that. You see that he kind of scruffs up the top of your head a little bit. Not here. We have to move. Yes. Um, um, uh, human... Well, is Rory faster than Hyena? Yes. Let's just ride Rory. I could turn into a vulture and go 150 or 160 feet per... Uh, oh. Does that or... sound like a race? 
Or, Rory, you're good at stealthing all of us, too, with your stealth skill. True. I think I have that spell activated, or did I get rid of it the so last time? So, let's, let's go and be clear about one or two things. Huh. What is your next step? I look at Gus again. Maybe you should head home to your uncle. Uncle's oh, not dang. home. Dang. <laughs> Like uh, you guys, you guys haven't even said thank you for the hyenas, or helping you get the emerald back, or or nothing. You're all, uh, and in fact, you keep acting weird. Like I call you on on the little stone, and you ignore me, and it's really hurting my feelings. I get down on like I forget you're a that you're human. Like you are not I, a child. Like so, I get down on my my knees and I put my hand on your shoulder and I say. I'm sorry. It's just been very stressful, and but thank you for I, all I that you did. I understand. I understand that you died for this thing, and I I just wanted to help my friends. Aw, manipulative That's little so bastard! <laughs> so nice of Goose. You actually hear Lucy? Oh, you guys are kind of fucking mean. Shit. <laughs> I just the way I see it <laughs> this is transactional you are getting yeah. information I I've got I've received nothing of value information but, is valuable but the truth is the only thing of value is the friends with me. <laughs> <laughs> Mama is okay. touched. No, Mama you know what? is touched by this. And like... <gasps> I want... No, no, no. That fucking break just now, that yeah. shit happened when you attempted that bullshit. <laughs> it's just like... It's like, <laughs> it's just like, it's like... I, Goose, are you okay? <laughs> yeah? Uh, can so I ask? Moved. I've I never had so many friends before. Please let me roll bluff on that to fix it. You can totally it, roll bluff on that. I will allow you to roll bluff on that. It's not hey, bluff anymore, deception. is it? Deception. Deception, I'm sorry. Deception, right. Still, yes. still stuck in my old ways. I do yes, feel right. like we should roll insight that's, to see that's through That's a 13. It. Yeah. We roll higher. Can we insight um, play other players? I was going to say, oh, for what God. it is, for what it is, it's a child laughing and crying. It's a child feeling a lot of emotions. And it's not that they're fibbing, because they don't really seem to be fibbing. But there seems to be a lot that they're trying to say. But Lonnie's also it's like, I, I did. A oh, oh, oh wait. I have advantage on deception checks because when I leveled up, I took that actor feat. Oh, so uh, <laughs> you want to let, wanna me, roll, let me roll that again? First off, Daniel, I want to say you're an asshole, Daniel, <laughs> because you're like encouraging this yep. when we all know he's not a child. Natural twenty. Oh my <laughs> God. Natural 20? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Who are we dedicating wait, wait, wait. to? Make out. I'd like to dedicate this to all my adoring fans. <laughs> I'd like to dedicate it. To, to the love of Gus's life, Lonnie. Lonnie. And, uh, I wanna you know ask. what? I'm going to allow all of you to roll insight. And if you can beat a 26, then you smell the bullshit. But if not, then you guys are just going to fucking take it as it is. Sure. Oh my gosh, yeah. gooselings. I love it. I mean, 18 yes. is pretty good, but... I dedicate hey, it to my gooselings. What, what color Insights. are Gus's eyes? Um... 25. Blue? I'm gonna say blue. Four. So close. Okay, blue? but see, 14. I how does this work no. for me? Because I know without a doubt that this is a halfling. You know, it's so odd that you know, but with that 26, you gotta roll. I should do it. You gotta you roll it for me. See what you get. No, I got an 18. Would she get I advantage? I would have I would have sworn to God. Would she get that advantage? That this was the. She knows. No, even, I... even, even with it, oh. look at him for a second, and you think it to yourself, "Am I crazy?" And for like the slightest of seconds, for like the slightest of moments, it's like, the... "Wait, what?" The player and, wants uh... to know if he also falls 
Umbra. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fair. Fair. Tell me. You hear a whisper in your ear, Lenny. They are a halfling. Right? <laughs> yes. That's hilarious. My, my champion, I... My champion. Huh. <laughs> you, just, you just hear doubt. There's honest to goodness doubt in their I voice. I heard his other voice. Oh, wait. That... Oh. But... That happened. <laughs> I'm... And as you sit there with it for just a second, even with the 18, you take a moment, you think to yourself, hmm. And you sit on it just for a moment. And you even hear Umbra. Huh. Man, Gus is going to keep this, this is... going. That's amazing. I don't like this. This is some gaslighting. Yes. <laughs> It's because actually Gus Lonnie lighting. has been very Gus lighting. lighting. Oh my god. It's lighting. You see, the thing is, is that you haven't changed your mind. You know it. Okay. It's in that simple moment that this the piece of shit, in. that this, <laughs> this, this pile of garbage <laughs> pulled this line on you, and for the slightest of moments, you feel, honest to God, sympathy. Right. It's not that your mind has changed. Okay. It's not that Umbra's mind has changed. I see what you're saying. Okay. It's that you literally have that moment of, the fuck just happened. He's that good, but you might you might recognize the skill too. You're like, damn. You're okay. no idiot. You 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 know you you still kind of catch on because you didn't fail miserably. And out of all the people that are here, you knew the most. But you take a moment and just like, huh? You like piece of shit. To thank the academy for <laughs> for this reward, um, my mom and dad out there, love you all, Kanye. So, you're my bro. No, no. <laughs> so all of you, what are we doing? The gem vibrating. Uh, Real quick, wait. So the, where were, the, the where were we before all this? Hmm? All right, I don't want to interrupt you. Where were we? You first. Uh, where were we before? Like when we before we left? Were we at the it's, Emporium? Yes. So we went to wow. the Emporium and met with, met with Gus, and then we went to the Manor. Yep. So we need to go somewhere water. safe. So where are we going safe? Is really what I really need to get to. Uh, uh, we're taking Gus back to the Emporium, right? Okay. Are we taking, taking Gus back? back to... There's a few things that you can do. You can cut Gus loose. You can start making way to the forest. You do have people waiting for you. You are what you are guys doing? gonna gonna leave me, friends? We haven't told you I'm this, not. so this is out of character, so don't even think about that. <laughs> don't pull them shenanigans. Little, just a little twist okay. that knife. Here. Yeah, twist I mean, that knife a I little mean, bit more. Rory just, Rory just was saying that. Uh, Fine, I'm just in the corner that. crying a little. <laughs> Go, thanks. Uh, what were you saying, Melanie? But hey, Rory was just. Uh, Telling him that we were gonna take him back, weren't we? I don't think oh. I said that, did I? Maha's I gonna look at the, the young remember. child Goose because <laughs> Goose is my Goose is my hyena partner. I just dropped my phone, so I'm gonna grab it while I talk to you. Um, uh, Goose, uh, you're a very skilled uh little Are wizard. Are you still on on uh, Fran's character shoulders? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm looking up <laughs> with my tears. <teary laughs> I'm actually gonna stand up here as long as he lets me stand with him. Yeah, you know, I, at this point I'm just kinda used to this. As... <laughs> I, I, I don't actually, do you have like big cow ears, Wilbur? Yes. Those are my handles. Oh my okay. god! <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable! <laughs> Everything also, is muscle so many make fan art. Daniel was just sitting here with his cigarette up like this, and he sat there for so long, not moving, that I thought he'd frozen for a second. He's waiting oh, for. He's like these people. Just, just letting you guys vibe right now. So, uh, so good goose, you are a very ah. skilled wizard. Yes. Yeah, and I'm gonna look at Lonnie and I go, goose, really was good on tame, uh, team, 
checkpoint. That was our team name, right? Yes. Yeah, maybe it's not such a bad idea to bring a child into a very dangerous situation. I I am very capable of defending myself. I I know great magics. I I I'll I'll do what I can to protect you all. Maha, what is your fascination of bringing children with us to the Underdark? First Aristotle. He's not a child. First Aristotle and now I, Gus. <laughs> I am not a baby. I just like to say that. I'm not a, whatever that little robot thingy is. <laughs> I'm not a baby. For, for what it's worth, Lonnie actually says that out loud. Oh, dang. Uh, what do you mean, Lonnie? Lonnie, Lonnie you're, you're a big, strong hero and together with your big, strong muscles and my ma arcane magics, we make a great team. How is and also uh, also Maha is cool too. How is Lucy reacting to Gus yeah. hitting on Lonnie? Oh, he's just sitting there, and <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that's da hey, that's a sow right Lonnie there. Lonnie is <laughs> Lonnie is very not into it. And it's probably <laughs> obvious. You see that Lucy looks at Lonnie. He looks at Gus. He looks at Lonnie. He looks at I. <laughs> he looks at I and he's kind of holding it up by its head now kind of like closer to his chest uh, and you see that he as, as everyone's kind of talking Lucy will kind of go up to you Lonnie and just kind of whisper I, uh, I think I think this little boy's with the hearts for you <laughs> you know what's I mean, really funny we have been told multiple times by Lonnie that this is not a child. <laughs> Lonnie, Man, baby. I don't know if you heard if you heard the deep sigh. I don't know if my mic picked that up. But Lonnie does that. She's just. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Still I, time I, I've I, ever I, rolled for Gus, I have rolled terribly. So Maha totally thinks he's still a kid. <laughs> this is like in part the little boy comment, and in part the. Lucy's right, and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't, Lucy, don't you want to gonna... be Team Checkpoint again? We saved oh. the whole world, though, or th at least this one city. <laughs> Listen, That's we true. are not bringing any little boys along with us. If you want to be a man, then we'll think about it. Whoa. Whoa. If, if you want me to be a man, then I'll be a man. I do like a. <laughs> well, we do. We do need a wizard, Rory. That's is why. Uh, it seems like all the wizards we run into are children. Stop! Stop it! We're not bringing children with us, Maha. I helped Ma you guys save everyone, and you did a I'm great job. Your uncle is not you. going to lend us to you, to take you to the Underdark. You're going to oh. the Underdark? Did this become a discussion about whether or not the little boy comes with us? No. We were talking about the gem. Right. True. I just... I'm, I am talented with the arcane magics. I'm sure that I... Either can come up with a way myself to destroy it, or find someone who can. Oh, we are not mm. giving you that gem. Yeah. I'm not, I don't want to hold it. Yeah. I, I, Uncle told me not to touch the thing. Oh, How about that's exactly why we shouldn't take him. He's in communication with his uncle. Oh, uh, he's my uncle. Okay. uncle. You think you think he'll do give you? Us a would, do you just not talk to to your family? Except your uncle. You have your brother right there. Your uncle. I've got a whole load of family, but that's besides the point. Your uncle is a swindler who likes to sell off things at the highest price to whoever he can find. Besides, you can that's talk to him really better. That's really mean. Besides, you can talk to him better if you stay here. Why are you talking here. about my? Why are you talking about my uncle like that? You know, he's just trying to make a living for me and his wife and. And fidget and digit because they, they can't, don't do well by themselves. You know, if you keep spinning out this bullshit, your eyes are going to turn brown. Brown? 
Oh. Maha got it. Yes. Ronan is actually going to. But but but. Ronan is actually going to pick up his hand for a moment. Okay. <laughs> Why is everybody being so mean to me? Okay, right. I just want to help. I'm sure. So. Am I taking this, Jen? Yes. Mm -hmm. Little one, are he being allowed to come with? Gods, no. Nope. But... Ronan, would you bring a child with you to your Underdark? He's a halfling. Rory, you're bringing a child to the Underdark. That's because it's a part of me. He's not inside <laughs> of me. <laughs> Maha does not understand. This child literally helped us kill them. Gus one. is not inside of us. And I kind of like stop and like realize oh. what I just said. <laughs> I, I just have a very confused look on my face. Like, I'm pregnant. I don't have a child that's fighting with us. Just saying a wizard would be very useful. Let's find an adult wizard then. I mean... I am more powerful than any smelly adult wizard. I'll have you know. As Lonnie does this, it, I want it to like click Look at in my, my mind. character sheet. That was the like same her, level as you guys. This was like her, you know. Imagine Gus is standing there. She's like, as Lonnie, adult wizard. As Lonnie I, does that, I realize the conversation we have earlier. Can I like be like, wait, this is not a child again? What, what is... conversation? What do you mean? On the way to Fidget Digit and the uh, Emporium, Lonnie told us, all of us, that he is not a child. That he's in fact... As, oh, yeah. as, you, as you go to do that, you remembered. And it begins to dawn on all of you. There is a creature that was let loose hunting your friends. Yep. It has been impeded. It is free. And as you have that moment that you're going to go look at this whoopee child, whoopee halfling, you think of two. Was it and number even five? though... It's number eight. It's number eight. Yeah. And as you think of two, eight okay. comes to mind, Rory. And you can almost hear it. You can almost feel it. As if though you're being guided by the Wild Mother just for a moment. There are more important things. You know... What do you do? I look at Gus. Child, thank you for your help. Now go home. Go. Take your hyenas with you. <laughs> um, there's like four of them. How many were they? Jim? <laughs> this four. Oh, oh this four. Four. This four. Um, I'm, I'm gonna need some help. I can't take all four by myself. Unless, you know, you attach me to a stick on one and they think I'm food and they'll just keep going. Hey, Lucy, will you help? Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Come on, little boy. Uh, he goes I... and he grabs you by the back of your robes. I, what are we doing with as, I? As he's carrying me away, I'm, I'm just get like, me, I, get me I, I just oh, wanted I... to go on more adventures with my friends. When you grow up, you can. Aww, I really like Goose. No, Maha. <laughs> uh -huh. You see that L Lucy kind of... I, I look up at Lucy, and, mm. and I tell him, You know I could take you in a fight, right? <laughs> <laughs> he does not hand you eye. He balls eye up like a football, and he tosses him to you, Maha. And he just stays looking at that goose. Huh. Really? Okay. Yeah. 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 About Do that. Do we hear this? Do we hear this? 
I, th I don't think he hit it. So you just see that he's that Lucy starts kind of like grabbing the hyenas by their by their hair. Oh, so Mr. Strongman, how about you go and grab those other two? Yeah, can you okay. do that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I ride one, and then I pull some rope out, and I tie it into a lasso. And I don't know why I have to roll to see if I can lasso the other one. Survive. The, like the, the, hyena, the, the hyena just lets you kind of put it around this neck. Hilarious. There we go. Uh, um, Thank I, you, Goose, for the dog. I say. You're yes. welcome. <laughs> we'll miss you, Goose. We'll miss you. Friends. As Lonnie. I miss you. So mean. I miss Wait, you, big Daniel... strong mommy. I have a feeling we'll see him again. <laughs> As they walk off, uh, Lonnie goes, "Oh, hey, Lucy, don't die before we can have that uh, sparring session." Well, you know, and I'm... she tosses a wink at him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get close to to the hyena I'm riding, and I, I just whisper, "Sick him." <laughs> Sicko, come on, do this one thing for me. With that failed animal check from the beginning, he just kind of looks at you. <laughs> he has to keep on going. But you see, you see Lucy turn around real quick and yeah, yeah, yeah. And you see Ronan walks up to all of you. I'm gonna go with them. Um, before he does, I want to bend over to the ground and I want to cast entangle and like kind of form a wooden ball of roots around the gem god i thought you're gonna cast that on me for some reason <laughs> <laughs> like fuck you it would be more druid craft if you're trying to go make like a little box around it because the entangled okay. would, would dissipate I can, I can do that i've got rashi's yeah. druid, druid craft i'll do that yeah. you'll be able to go and do that real quick and you go and make a little thing and do you hmm. want me to do you want me to glyph it Oh, I can I'm, also do other things other than that, such as how much it. time? How much time would it take? Like an hour. <coughs> then Ronan say, "Don't glyph it." Yeah. Well, Maha can put any spell in a glyph, not just fireball. I mean, I'm not there anymore. This is out of you. You character. see, as 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 he does turn to you, he looks at you, Maha. I don't think we have the time. Mm. He <laughs> walks up to Wilbur. Gives Wilbur a hug. Gives a oh, kiss okay. on both cheeks. He walks up to Solani. He extends his hand out for you to shake. He shakes. He goes and he does oh. solid grip. Uh, Gus says one last thing. Bye, Mr. Cat Kitty Cat Maha. You're my best friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> as, as that happens, you go you feel anyone's best friend. Though. You feel fingers on on the top of your head giving you a little bit of scratches. Be safe. How and did you reach up there? <laughs> oh, he, he had to climb on you a little bit. I forgot that he's there on top of you, so you kind of see this. Oh, you actually, you know what? No, he looks at you, Wilbur, and he's like, Ban the fucking. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Nine. Maha's too powerful on top of Wilbur. Like, his Nine feet tall, power. I can do it. <laughs> looks at you, Rory. I hand him, um, actually, I want to put the ball, I don't even want to hand it to him. I put the wooden ball into his backpack, so he doesn't have to touch it. Um, you just smiles. I just... Be in contact with this, Ronan. I will. I hug him. I kiss him. And in, his, I, in, in his ear, I said, I don't want to give birth alone. Oh. You see him stop for a moment, and he contemplates you. This is coming from the woman that died. Yeah. And he just, boop, right on your nose. Death. I'm more worried about you than I am for myself. Death gives you a new perspective on life. Doesn't it? And you just kind of see him nod and smile. Death is like that. The wild mother spoke to me. I know. Ooh. Watch Wilbur. He's going to need you. 
Take care of Lucy. Lucy can take care of Lucy. Lucy gets try. into trouble. Are you sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. I will return to you. And do me a favor. Wherever this brings you, whatever happens from here, don't forget that home isn't that far. Mm. Mm? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He just smiles. Well, he's Good. so handsome that we all just get a crush on him again. <laughs> <laughs> Even ghosts. Is there Even any... Maha is asexual. He's so <laughs> you see, he goes to go lean in to go give you a kiss, and he playfully pulls out a piece of fruit. Like magic, as he always does. Keep that. So suave. <gasps> I have one Ooh. apple already from him. Well, now you have two. Now I have two. Oh, that means that you can share it with someone. Maybe number two needs it when you get when you see. You know what? Maybe Eric needs it when you see him. Uh, Ronan, one more thing. I think mm. maybe it would help you. I don't think I will need this where we are going. So maybe you can use this if you get in trouble. Um, I have a soy sauce bucket. Uh, this is a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is not what Maha's giving him. Uh, uh, this is a uh, Boam's coin. Um, please know that we're friends, and he should help you if you need it, okay? Thank you. That's very sweet of you. Break it if you need someone to find you, okay? I'll break it if I need someone to find me. And you see him turn to Lani. Umbra. And you hear in your left ear, Lani. Kind sir. He walks off. Lani's assuming that he heard that. She just runs. Just walks off. Runs the gym. So, as Gus has made his leave. Bye, Gus. You're a good wizard. You'll be a strong Lu- man Lucy wizard someday. And Ronan in tow. <laughs> you begin your trek. Unless there's anything else that you would like to do. But we need to make haste. We have what? all of our things, right? And you also have I. I. Is, is I in the back? I have him on top of. Uh, I have nope, him on top he's, of. Uh, he's kind of Wilbur. nestled up to to uh, to to Maha like if they were a little child. Mm-hmm. I do you have tracking on you. I. Magic on him. I. I is still learning. Not sure what you mean. Does um. Mm. Oh shit! I forgot his name. Alright, how about we get out of town and I'll check him out when we get somewhere, yeah? Yeah. Sounds good. Um, uh, right, I, all right, help us get out. I will wild shape into giant vulture. And how many of us can you carry like that? I do not know. I'm about to check. <laughs> I also have a dog if I need to, which is the best mount in the whole game, uh, other than Lumber. Oh, wait, oh. I did the math before. <laughs> uh, I didn't save the math. I think I can carry. Why don't, why don't we just Why don't we just do a warhorse? Because I think we can carry a lot of people, right? I can only carry two people as a, a warhorse. Didn't you transform into that when uh, when we split up into teams, and then you carry uh, your team on your back? Mm. Literally, you won't be carry. You won't be able to carry all of them. Mm. How about a better? I have an idea. Uh, Rory, you have that ability to stealth like everybody in front of you, right? Yes, I guess, but I don't have that After activated time. right now. Can do you need to? Can you do it again? After a long and rest. that way we can get. Oh, I was like, maybe we can get out of town like that. We need. To what a shame case. that you don't have a boy wizard with Sh- hyenas. Shut up. Whoa, what you what you can <laughs> what you can do is begin to just 
trying to make make it make your way up. Try to go make Maha some time and. Maha will go up ahead. Uh, Maha will very carefully give oh. Wilbur eyeball. Eyeball. Um, so I found my notes on it. I'm able to carry um, four people on my back, and then I had two people in paw, uh, each talons, because I can carry the weight where only four people can fit on my back. So. Well, there's not that many people, so. We had. I mean, Gus, only have three be... other team members. We had Gus and Harley oh, when I did my math before, so. So you can make it work. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do it. <sighs> and you wild shaped. Yes, I can go a hundred and twenty dashing. And you begin your journey. I will take a level of exhaustion, though, just so you know. As time passes. We'll, we'll fade map. away. <laughs> we'll fade away from our group to some place, maybe far, maybe close. And as the camera cuts away, we'll see Eric running and running and running. Tristala, Fernway, running and running. And as the scene cuts to black, you can hear it clawing at the dirt, breathing heavy like a wild animal, blood in the air as eight gathers its strength and chases and you begin your journey to meet your friends and on that we will end tonight's session of legion thank you so much for joining us it's good to be back and as your humble dm i say thank you again i would like to dedicate this little session to my mother wherever she is mm -hmm. and to all the kind people that reached out mm -hmm. we love you very much wash your hands take care of yourselves be safe and we will see you here next week Thursday have a lovely evening everyone bye bye, bye. How did it go? <gasps> I picked up that wood and it floated into the sky. You, you son of a... Oh, it came down. Okay, thank you.